Welcome to Ryan's Running Reviews in partnership with Roadrunner Sports. And today we're taking a look at two different A6 shoes. We have the Gel Nimbus 26 and the Nova Blast 4. Let's run with it. Before we get started, I do want to say these shoes were provided to me by Roadrunner Sports. However, no one had a chance to preview this video and this file synopsis is my own. I'd also like to say please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing. Here we go. Now the reason we're taking a look at these two shoes in particular is they both represent some of ASIC's thickest and most popular neutral daily trainers. Yes, you have the Super Blast, but that's kind of in its own category as it uses a completely different kind of midsole foam. While here on the Nimbus and the Nova Blast, they both use Flight Foam Blast Plus Eco. And while that may seem kind of similar on paper, I will say these two shoes provide completely different experiences and I'm excited to talk about it. The Nimbus has 42 millimeters in the heel with 34 in the forefoot for an eight millimeter drop while the Nova Blast is pretty much the same with 41 and a half millimeters in the heel and 33 and a half in the forefoot for that same eight millimeter drop. So pretty much they're identical with regard to stack height with at least on paper, the Nimbus having half a millimeter more. However, once we look at the weight, it's completely different. The Nimbus is significantly heavier coming in at 10.8 ounces. Well, the Nova Blast is a much more manageable 9.2. So you're gonna have well over an ounce of weight savings if you go with the Nova Blast over the Nimbus, which I do think kind of shows itself when you try these two particular models. The Nimbus is the more expensive shoe, which comes in at $160 compared to the Nova Blast at $140, so about 20 bucks cheaper. Moving on to the upper, there are some key differences. The Nimbus has this knit material, which is not elastic at all and is rather warm in my opinion. If we compare that to the Nova Blast, we have this woven material with these kind of large holes punched out in the toe box, which help give it some ventilation. And I will say this does have better airflow compared to the Nimbus, again, at least in my opinion. With regard to the fit, both are true to size and rather accommodating, although I will say I think the Nimbus has just a tiny bit more room in the toe box. The tongues are quite different as well. Here on the Nimbus, we have the incredibly stretchy and elastic knit tongue, which is completely different compared to the rest of the knit upper, which is not elastic. So want to make that clear. The big difference with this tongue from last year on the Nimbus 25, now here on the 26 is they made the top of the tongue a bit thicker to help with lace pressure. And I will say it is rather thin. The tongue is practically see-through, so you do get some ventilation in this area. Uh, but otherwise, I think it's quite comfortable. And the only kind of small drawback is if you really have to do the, pull those laces tight, uh, there's a little bit of late spike just because of how thin that tongue is, at least through the midfoot. The top of the tongue has been uh, just thickened up just a little bit. Now, if we go over to the Nova Blast, we have a more traditional setup. It's rather thin uh, with these small bits of kind of foam blocks scattered throughout to give you some lace pressure protection. It's not much, but it is more compared to the Nimbus, and I think it does a decent job. It is gusseted with strips of elastic material on the lateral and medial side to keep it in place. And I do think this helps kind of provide a slightly better lockdown just because of how elastic the tongue is here on the Nimbus. I don't think the lockdown on the Nimbus is really that bad, but if I had to give a better lockdown rating from the Nimbus to the Nova Blast, I would say that Nova Blast is slightly better. We move towards the back part of the shoe. We have about the same amount of padding. It's a moderate amount. I think does a solid job. No major complaints or heel lift or anything like that. And then the heel counter itself uh, is relatively flexible, maybe a little bit more flexible here on the Nova Blast. Otherwise, I was really happy with the lockdown. Again, slight edge to the Nova Blast just because there's not much, if any, elastic materials here uh, compared to, again, that very elastic tongue here on the Nimbus. And now for the midsoles, because on paper they should be identical, and I will say right now they are not. They have relatively the same amount of stack height, the same heel to toe drop, and they're both Flight Foam Blast Plus Eco. So what's the key difference? Well, the first thing is the Nimbus has a slight trick up its sleeve with that pure gel technology, basically a small bit of gel directly underneath your heel. You cannot see it from the outside of the shoe. It's an internal structure. I'll put a picture on the screen so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Older ASIC shoes had the gel along the outer part of the heel and like a small dot under your forefoot and they kind of scrapped that for this new pure gel technology. Personally, I can't feel it when I'm running in the Nimbus or any other shoe that has pure gel, but supposedly according to ASICs and their data, it's supposed to help with overall shock and impact protection. And then if we go over to the Nova Blast, it does not have pure gel. I'm actually curious why. Uh, maybe to do with energy return, but there is no pure gel on the Nova Blast while it is here on the Nimbus 26. 
However, I do think the pure gel technology is small potatoes and doesn't make a massive difference, mainly because I couldn't feel it in the Nimbus 26. It wasn't just a noticeable feature, if you will. What I could notice, however, was the fact that the Flight Foam Blast Plus Eco Foam here in the Nova Blast 4, while being the same, at least on paper, foam as what we see here on the Nimbus 26, is significantly softer and bouncier. And I think this is for a couple reasons. One, I think it is just a completely different formulation of Flight Foam Blast Plus Eco. The Nova Blast is, I think, over an ounce and a half lighter compared to the Nimbus, which means that's a lot of weight to reduce on the upper. So I think that the, uh, the midsole also lost some weight here as well, even though it has the same amount of stack height. And that means I think the foam is going to be a little bit less dense. That's my best guess. But the other thing that can play into how this midsole performs and feels is the sculpting. You have some kind of clear sculpting along the back part of the shoe, and you have a drastic kind of heel cutout with kind of a bulge towards the forefoot. And I think all that plays together, both the reformulation and the unique sculpting here to give you a softer and more energetic ride. Now, I will say, I think the Nimbus 26 uh, is going to be more stable, feels a bit more substantial through the forefoot. Uh, but just doesn't have as much squish and pop compared to the Nova Blast 4. So if you're someone who likes uh, a lot of midsole underfoot or needs a lot of cushioning, but wants some stability without going to something like the Keanu, I think the Nimbus is going to be a better option compared to the Nova Blast. I will say, based on the eyeball test, I do think the Nova Blast 4, despite having half a millimeter less of stack height, has more overall volume to it. So if you line up the shoes, you'll see that the heel section is slightly larger, and the forefoot, if you kind of align these properly, I will say the Nova Blast is just ever so slightly wider and thicker just with regard to like the forefoot flare. So that kind of ties into the story of this having just a little bit more softness and compression. And I do think has a more energetic feel to it. Now, with regard to the stability, yes, the Nimbus is more stable, but I really wouldn't consider this a squirrely or unstable shoe. And I tried the Nova Blast one that was too unstable for me. I actually returned it. And I will say this feels very manageable. Again, not squirrely, not all over the place, but does a good job of kind of balancing stability with giving you that soft, well-cushioned, uh, kind of Nova Blast feel, if you will. For me personally, I do prefer the Nova Blast 4. It is significantly lighter, about an ounce and a half lighter to be exact, and just feels like a more overall versatile daily trainer as well, handling those faster paced runs much better compared to the Nimbus, which I think fall short in that area and of course the midsole foam here is significantly softer and more lively the nimbus however gives you a little bit more guidance and i think works for those runners that are looking for a solid cruiser of a daily trainer uh, and just want a little bit more support compared to something like the nova blast 4. moving on to the outsole you have a little bit more rubber on the heel with the nova blast and a little bit more rubber on the forefoot with the nimbus I will say the Nimbus does have ASICs new ASICs hybrid rubber grip compound, which is supposed to be a little bit more durable and grippy. So just keep that in mind compared to the unbranded rubber we see on the Nova Blast. Personally, didn't really notice much of a difference and they worked quite well for me. Didn't really hurt me and didn't really kind of impress me in any way, but um, yeah, just wanted to kind of point that out. So let me know down in the comments, which ASICs max cushion neutral daily trainer are you going with? You already know I'm going with the Nova Blast 4, but I would love to hear from you. Well, I'm Ryan from Ryan's Running Reviews, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.